students uh, so coming to the next topic that is a fragmentation so this is one of the important concept in uh, main memory so you you have to know the concept of fragmentation uh, so how the data is storing in main memory how the data is removed from the main memory and swapping to the secondary memory again it coming back whenever it is coming back is there is a space in main memory or not so that everything will be uh, depends upon the fragmentation so first let me explain what is a fragmentation it is a process a process suppose a process or loaded and removed so a process is loaded in main memory and removed from memory again you removed from memory the free space whatever that is present in the main memory the free space the free memory space is broken broken into little pieces okay first let me a process suppose any process that is there that process wants are loaded in main memory suppose it is loaded in main memory process p1 and removed from main memory it's just suppose this is a process one p1 and removed from main memory and placed in the secondary memory so whenever it sends to that uh, secondary memory this space becomes free space so the space in the main memory becomes free space so this free space is broken into pieces so whenever it sends the process it broken the uh, free space into pieces small pieces after some time after some times that process whatever we send to the removed from the main memory that process cannot be allocated to memory it cannot be allocated to memory because uh, because of small size because of small size so and also it uh, and memory block remains uh, unused and here and the memory block whatever it is present remains unused this problem is called fragmentation this problem is called fragmentation so let me explain clearly with some a simple example i'll take suppose this is a main memory a main memory is holding the process p1 okay so a process are loaded in main memory and removed from main memory and stored into secondary memory so after storing in the uh, secondary memory this is stage 1 so next this is a main memory and this is a secondary memory so here the process p1 is stored and whatever the process that is removed from main memory is becomes free space this is a free space because i i moved the process p1 to secondary memory so this becomes the free space so this free space will be broken down into small pieces whenever the data is moved to the another so this free space becomes broken into smaller pieces suppose this is uh, 4 mb okay this 4 will be divided into 2 and 2 like this 2 megabytes and 2 megabytes and this is here this p1 is there main memory and secondary memory suppose after some time this process wants to again come back to main memory this is swapping technique so the p1 again wants to come back to main memory but here already the memory that uh, is there previous that will be divided into smaller pieces so it cannot be allocated to memory because of small size and memory block remains unused so because this is 4m this 4m process cannot be moved to this uh, cannot store in this 2m and 2m because this is partitioned so this process cannot come back to main memory and this memory remains unused memory remains unused because we are not storing anything here 
because this is 2m and 2m so this process cannot come back to main memory because it is already divided into smaller pieces so it cannot uh, fit in this uh, memory block so this memory blocks remains unused this problem you call it as a fragmentation the process that cannot fit into that uh, memory block that problem you call it as a fragmentation First, it sends a process to swap it to the secondary memory and makes the memory free. So, whenever the memory is free here, it divided into small pieces, little pieces. So, again the process come back, wants to come back to main memory. We want to swap into main memory. But the memory block is already, it is small in size. So, uh, the memory block remains unused. This problem you call it as fragmentation. So, this fragmentation is divided into two. One is external fragmentation. External fragmentation. And another is internal fragmentation. So, what is an external fragmentation? External fragmentation means the total memory, whatever it is present in main memory, the total memory space is enough to satisfy enough to satisfy a request or reside a process. First, let me write recite a process in it but it is not contiguous but it is not contiguous so it cannot be used what it means so the external fragmentation here saying the total memory space is enough to satisfy a request or recites a process in it but it is not contiguous. So, here it is a memory is there. Okay. A total memory space is enough to satisfy request. So, there is some uh, a process is there. A process wants to come back to this main memory P1. So, there is an enough space is there. So, enough space is satisfy or request of uh, satisfy request or recites a process in it. But it is not a contiguous. It is not present contiguously because it is divided into two like that so means uh, uh, the 4m can be stored in 1m here 2m here again 1m here it is not in a continuous memory location so it is some dynamic approach is there dynamic uh, clearly you can set the program you can store the process so this type of uh, uh, problem you call it as external fragmentation the total memory space is enough to satisfy so it is enough there is a space the total memory space there is a space but whatever the request you are doing and whatever the uh, process you want to uh, store in this main memory it can fit but it is not in contiguous memory location means the data here it is a fixed or dynamic whatever it may be it is fixed or dynamic but it is uh, uh, the, that is but it is not contiguous not storing the data in a static or in dynamic way it is not contiguous so it cannot be unused so whenever that is not is unused then it you call it as external fragmentation now coming to the internal fragmentation in the internal fragmentation memory block assigned to a process memory block assigned to process is bigger so whatever the memory block assigned to a process is bigger and some portion of memory is some portion of memory is left unused as it cannot be cannot be used by another process So, a fragmentation can cause waste of memory and compaction technique can be used to create more free space out of fragmented memory. So, what they are saying that internal memory, internal memory means here a memory block assigned to a process. So, this is a memory block 
so here the suppose the process p1 is uh, uh, 4mb 4m and process p2 is 2m like that so a memory block assigned to a process let's take this is 6m 4m 6m a memory block assigned to a process is bigger so this is 5m the space here for the process is 5m allotted and this is 8m like that a memory block assigned to a process is bigger so here we are assigning a process uh, partition that is bigger some portion of memory is left unused as it cannot be used by another process what it means so here they are saying i can store here 4m but 1m is becoming waste so this 1m i cannot use for the next process because next process is a 6m the 6m cannot fit into this 1m so i have to use another partition and again here 2m is wasted so this wastage internal uh, uh, in the inside internal memory main memory the wastage of space you call it as internal fragmentation a memory block assigned to a process is bigger but some portion so already whatever the assigned block is bigger than the process whatever we are sending so some portion of memory is left unused as it cannot be used by another process so this 1m cannot be used by another process and this 2m cannot be used by another process suppose p3 is again some suppose uh, it is 3m 3m means it has some word it's stored in here like that okay suppose this is also 4m it can uh, here 3m is stored and suppose this is a 4m again 1m will be wasted so this is about the internal fragmentation so it to overcome this fragmentation the fragmentation memory uh, can be compact means you can shuffle fragmented memory before compaction it look like this let me write that so this is the fragmentation memory fragmented memory before compaction compaction means shuffle so what we are doing so this is suppose a memory the block this completely is a memory so this is unused and here another block and this is unused and this is some block and this is another block and this is unused and again small block so this is the blocks uh, where the process can store and this is a uh, unused area so after memory after compaction memory after compaction means the shuffle how it look like so whatever the unused area is there that will be moved to the last so this is one process next process next process and this is completely unused means we are just combining we are shuffling all the unused uh, partitions to make it as a one big partition so that suppose this is 1m and 2m and 2m so total 4 5m is there 5m space space so this is 5m so this 5m can be occupied by another process so p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 suppose p6 is uh, 4m so it can fit in this 5m so the unused uh, partitions can be the memory space is shifted to the last means we are shuffling here so this is uh, this is you call it as a compaction fragmented memory will be compacted shuffled the external fragmentation can be reduced by compaction or shuffled free memory together in one large block so uh, this can be the external fragmentation can be reduced with the help of this shuffling let me write that point external fragmentation can be reduced by compaction or shuffle or shuffle free memory together in one large block
so this is one of the technique to uh, make the external fragmentation reduced and internal fragmentation can be reduced let me write that point also internal fragmentation can be reduced by effectively assigning by effectively assigning the smallest partition so whatever the smallest partitions is there assigning the smallest partitions but large enough for the process but large enough for the process so this is about the fragmentation so the fragmentations is a two type the internal fragmentation and external fragmentation so these can be reduced with the help of this technique thank you